Hey everybody, this is Kevin Crouch with Ellis County Weather. I am here in rural Ellis County, uh, just actually to the northeast of Waxahachie. Uh, Rocket is very close, just down the road here. And uh, I am going to bring you a weekend outlook. I think unlike anything I've brought to this point, uh, this is a wild forecast. We've been talking about it for a while. Uh, and uh, I cannot wait to be in this spot on Saturday when the cold front comes in, because I want to feel that first push of Arctic air as it moves in. But before that, of course, let's talk about mid-low pressure pros. And uh, I've been bringing you this information for a while. Of course, uh, if you saw, they did uh, some cleaning at my home, some fantastic work there. They actually did quite a bit of uh, really great work on the exterior uh, surfaces like uh, the back porch and the uh, the front uh, sidewalk there made a big, big difference, made everything look just fantastic, made it really look brand new uh, in a home that, you know, nothing like that had been cleaned for a while. So they made it look fantastic. And uh, the new year is a great time to get your home clean, get the, the outside of the house clean, get those the driveway and the sidewalk cleaned, get the back porch cleaned, all of those things. It all makes a difference and it can all look fantastic for you as you begin the new year. No better time to do it. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to elliscountyclean.com or give them a call at 469-830-1630. That's gonna get you that $50 off coupon if you mention Ellis County Weather to them. If you go on the website, just put your email in and they'll, get, they'll send you that coupon. They're not gonna spam you with emails or anything of that sort. They're gonna uh, give you, a, if you give them a call, mention Ellis County Weather to them, uh, you'll get that coupon as well. But you want to make sure you get that $50 off. It makes a difference on the bottom line, trust me, and it makes it worth it. It is so worth it to get your home cleaned up and looking great for uh, the new year. So we need to go ahead and get into this forecast. Right now, the clouds have returned to Ellis County, so it's, it's more cloudy right now. And what we're going to see over the next several hours uh, is things are going to stay mild and then radically, radically, radically change. So let's start off with the forecast Friday night. We're gonna see a disturbance come in from the west that's gonna bring showers and thunderstorms to our area. Now, we do have a chance, right now it looks like a marginal chance, but a chance nonetheless of some severe weather. Uh, just this afternoon, it looked like there was an increased uh, confidence in the cap. And if you're not familiar with the cap, that's a layer of warm air above the surface that can generally keep showers and thunderstorms from at, at least becoming too intense. Sometimes it can keep them from developing at all. So we're gonna have to wait and see what that cap is going to do. It should at very least limit what we see in our area. Now, if that cap does not actually stick around, we could see more severe weather. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be monitoring this over the next several hours to make sure that I bring you the most up-to-date information possible. But Friday night, showers and thunderstorms move in. Uh, again, marginal severe weather possible. Lows will be in the low 60s. Here's where things get interesting. New Year's Day on Saturday. We're gonna start the day. We may have a few lingering showers and thunderstorms from the night before, uh, from that disturbance that's gonna move through. In the afternoon and evening hours, we will start to watch as an Arctic cold front, a very strong cold front, moves in from the north. When that comes in, our high is gonna be around 70 degrees. We don't know exactly what time that cold front's gonna move in, but it may keep us from getting to the absolute warmest part of the day. Uh, it may keep temperatures in the low 70s. We've been getting up towards the 80s the last few days, but this cold front should kind of cut some of that short. Now, we're in the southern part of the, the North Texas area, right? So uh, we may actually hit that daytime heating before the cold front comes in. So we may get up into the low 70s. And I wouldn't be too surprised if it does get a little warmer. Again, just depending on the timing of the front. What's gonna happen? This front is gonna move in. And I'm looking to my north right now, just trying to imagine this cloud bank of this front moving in. That pushes in, temperatures immediately start to drop. Pay attention to this contrast. Highs will be in around 70, possibly in the low to mid 70s, if we can get, uh, if the cold front comes in later in the day. Overnight lows <clears throat> for Saturday night. <clears throat> Excuse me, the, the cold front's gonna come in, the skies are going to be clear overnight, so any daytime heating we have is going to lift, just, it's going to be gone. Lift away, it's gone. That cold front comes in, lows will be in the low 20s. You heard that right, the low 20s 
overnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday, sunny skies. Again, the, there's no cloud deck to keep those, those warm temperatures in. Highs will be only in the upper 30s, maybe the low 40s, if we can warm up a little bit with that sunshine. Then Sunday night, we're clear with lows, in again, in the low 20s. So this is a time when you want to be taking care of those five Ps. Make sure your pets are taken care of. Make sure people that may be vulnerable to freezing temperatures are taken care of. Your pipes, make sure that you cover those outdoor faucets and indoors. Let those faucets drip. Open those cabinets uh, as well to let uh, some of that warm air kind of circulate and keep those from freezing. Uh, so people, pets, pipes, you want to make sure your pools are pro. I, I had someone ask about pools earlier today in a comment, and I don't really know much about pools. I didn't have, uh, I had pools growing up, but I was never the guy taking care of them. So I don't know what the, the criteria is as far as when you need to take care of those, but make sure that your pool is uh, taken care of accordingly with temperatures in the low 20s, maybe even the upper teens in some uh, outlying areas. And then you know, those plants as well. So make sure any of those plants that are vulnerable to freezing temperatures are brought in as well. Uh, the last thing I wanna mention here it's a really neat plane. Uh, <laughs> I, I, hey, I love airplanes. I get easily distracted. Last thing I want to mention is that next week, looking ahead, now, of course, I'll have an official forecast on Sunday afternoon. Uh, I'll probably be outside bundled up a little bit for that Sunday afternoon weekday outlook. But uh, on Sunday, I'll bring you that outlook. But right now, it looks like we will have a modest, gradual warm-up through the middle of next week. And then I think we're actually going to end up uh, getting another cool down, not quite as big a cool down as we're getting right now, but another cool down to kind of keep things relatively cool for the beginning of 2022. So it looks like January was our uh, was our time to get into winter weather. And uh, it right now, it does not look like we're going to have any kind of winter precipitation. It looks like the, the moisture that's going to be in place, the timing won't be right for the temperatures to get low enough. We won't have any moisture here. That north wind is going to bring in some dry, dry air. Uh, so it looks like we won't have any winter precipitation, but those lows in the low 20s, I think are going to be winter enough uh, to satisfy those of us who wanted this cold weather to be here to, to make this time of year just make sense. So stay tuned for more updates on the possibility of severe weather tomorrow night and those sub-freezing temperatures coming in this weekend.